In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your table of contents and a table of contents is really important in an ebook because you can actually hyperlink uh, the, the, the contents within your table of contents meaning that when somebody's looking at your ebook if they decide they want to go to a, a specific page or a specific section they can actually tap on, on the, the section in the table of contents and it will take them straight to that page. So it's very interactive indeed. So a table of contents works on the style that you attach to certain elements of your, your document. Now, the styles that Word and the styles that OpenOffice use are based on the headings. So you'll remember that to change the headings for a document, and this is in the formatting video, you actually click on um, the section at the, on the top left-hand corner that, that says Apply Style, um, and you have a number of different headings. And that is, as long as you apply your, your styles to your headings correctly, that is how you create your table of contents. OpenOffice gives you 10 different um, levels of heading that you can have. So he heading number one being the biggest and the most important, and heading number 10 being um, the smallest and, and the least important. So what I've done in this document is I have actually, um, I've using heading one, heading two, etc. I have actually applied the headings, uh, the relevant headings to um, these 10 entries. And I'm going to use those to show you how your table of contents looks looks like. And what I'm going to do very quickly is actually just put a page break in between each of these so that we have multiple pages so that I can then show you um, what it looks like when you use the, the linking um, function. So to put um, a, a heading into here, a, a break into here, I go up to um, insert manual break. And I'm just going to do that for all of them. Just bear with me one moment. So this will actually make um, the video a lot more um, authentic for you. So you can actually see what they look like when um, when you use the table of contents in, in an interactive way. Okay, so that'll be sufficient for the purposes of tutorial. Okay, so I now have a series of pages in this document um, and the pages have um, a heading at the top of them and that heading has had um, a, a, a style applied to it. And what I want to do now is create my table of contents. So I'm actually just going to, in front of heading one, I'm going to insert a new blank page just so that I can have my table of contents on, um, on a new page. And it's very simple. Part of this is rote learning though, so you might need to go back and listen to this a, a couple of times. But this is how you create a table of contents with um, interactive links in there. So you go up to insert, which is the top of your screen, which you can't quite see um, on this video. But go up to insert, and then you go down to index and tables, and you click on index and tables um, again. It'll bring up a dialog box that looks like this. If I was to click OK now, I'd have a very simple non-interactive table of contents, but I want mine to be interactive. So this is the rote learning part of it. I don't understand why we do this in OpenOffice, but this is the way you, that you do it. You click on Entries, and you'll see here you've got um, a couple of options. So you've got eHash, ET, Hash, etc., etc. Just to the left of the E, there is a little white column, and I'd like you to click in that with your mouse, and then you click on hyperlink on the right-hand side. Then you click in the white column to the right of the E, and you click hyperlink again. Then you click on all, and then you click on OK. And what happens is your table of contents is um, produced and you'll see that the, the different headings appear as different links. To show you how that actually works, what I'm going to do now is actually save this document as a PDF. So you go to this icon here where it says PDF and I'm going to call this the table of contents one. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go and open that file. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm opening my um, PDF file. And you'll see that um, you can see those links down there now. So if I was to click on one of those, it would take me to my heading page. Go back up to my table contents, say that I want to go to heading number one. It takes me to my heading number one page. Okay, So that is how you actually create an interactive table of contents, uh, which will make your uh, ebook just look that little bit more uh, slicker and professional.